Hello mga Kaganchilio family! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. A channel where you can find the very, very easy and beginner's friendly crochet video tutorials. And of course, about life. So, and for today's video, we are going to make the very basic granny square stitch. Uh, to make this tote bag, we need to have these materials. Of course, the soft twine, a chocolate brown color, and of course, our 3.5 millimeter hook. Okay, you see right there? Our hair shine, always. And our lighter. And of course, ta -da! my new scissor yes i bought this one online um like this uh so i feel like uh, the real crocheter the real hooker the real manunusok manganchilio manunuho pag may ganito ako ito yung nafe-feel ko at saka yung modern handle natin um before we can go to advanced uh, granny square uh, stitches, we need to know first the basic one, the solid granny square stitch. So that uh, you will understand uh, the more advanced of this kind of stitch. You need to know the basic, okay? So uh, because this tutorial is very long, we need to cut this one into two parts. So this is the first part on how to make this solid granny square stitch and in the second part we need to to assemble um these squares and make it into a tote bag and put this wooden handle and then of course if you prefer to put a cloth lining inside then you can put it um if you desire so let's begin in order to make this tote bag we need to have 10 10 of these squares and then if you want to, to, to make a little bit bigger, you can make 13 squares of this stitch, okay? So we need to understand what we are doing. First, of course, we need, uh, we need hair shine to make our, our work a lot easier. Okay, we need our 3.5 millimeter hook. So we need to make a magic circle in making a magic circle it's easier like that no need to complicate it that one and then insert your hook pull this one like that and then make a slip stitch right there oh very easy very easy the magic circle so there you go that one serve us nothing so we need to make a five chain stitch one two three four five that serves as our first double crochet so if you know how to slip stitch if you know the chain stitch and if you know the double crochet then we're good to go okay and then again this serves as our double crochet and then yarn over make another make a double crochet like that three of this okay yarn over insert your hook pull through two of your loops in your hook then pull through the remaining two loops in your hook okay another one the last one because we need to make three of these okay pull through loops of your in your hook and then the last two loops and then we already made this one so we need to make or add two chain stitch there you go then make another three of the double crochet one two 
Okay. Oh my gosh. Three. So, that's another one. Add again to chain stitch. Two. And make another three of the double crochet. Okay. This is one. Another double crochet. Last of the double crochet in the set. Okay, there you go. One, two, three, and then last set of this double crochet. Then we pull this one a little bit like that. And then don't forget to add one, uh, two chain stitch. And then another set of double crochet. But only two because we have this already serves us the double crochet so we only need two of this one okay like that and then pull this at the back like that to make it like that as much as possible there's no hole in between here so this we need to understand, we need to remember that we started five chain stitch. So this two chain stitch serves as the um, space. And then we need to make a slip stitch in the third of the whole of this chain stitch. Slip stitch like that. And then another slip stitch in the corner, in the corner here. And like that, pull through, okay? So this is our first row of this solid granny square stitch. One, two, three, four. Four set of beads, okay? Right there. So next, so we must understand that this is the corner, this is the corner here, this is the corner, and this is the corner. So in every corner, there should be additional of two chain stitch, okay? So start again for the second row. Five chain stitch. Always start with a five chain stitch. One, two, three, four, five, okay? So let's continue. Um, so this is the five chain stitch. So you're in over make two double crochet one two it's okay if here or here in the side still the same but i prefer in that side so that's the two uh double crochet and then just continue to the next hole like that double crochet until you reach in the side of the corner so okay like that so in the side of the corner because we started two here so two here so two double crochet anyway you can post this pause you can post this um video tutorial so that you can catch up like that two so because we're already in the corner we need to add two chain stitch always remember two chain stitch in the corner so we started at three double crochet so in the next row we make six double crochet okay here also six double crochet here also six double crochet understand and here because it's square so it's even every side of these four corners should be even okay so always remember when you will start here always add five chain stitch and this two uh, chain stitch serve as the space all right and the three remaining chain stitch serve as one double crochet and then here again should be always two double crochet in the corner two here two here and then add two chain stitch like that always in the corner and then make another two double crochet in this corner so that one two two okay this one like this should always two double crochet two double crochet and then two additional two chain stitch two two okay so just repeat the process repeat the steps row one row two row three until you reach 
in the desire, uh, desired uh, row you want to have. So for this tote bag project, I made one, two, three, four, five, six rows in total. Same because this is square. So again, this is uh, the, the, the four side of the square are even the same um, are the same in um, in measurement. Okay, so that one also one here and then here to make it a tote bag. So um, how to determine the front or the right side of this project and the back or the wrong side of this project. It's easy. One is the front or the right side of this project is more pronounced than at the back. So in this material, the soft line, it's easier than using yarn or cord. So if you still have difficulty in determining it, the next step is this V stitch here at the side. So if you are in the in the front or the right side of this project, the V stitch here at the side is easy to be seen. Okay, right there. And if you are at the back or at the wrong side of this project, the V stitch at the side is facing right there. So you cannot easily see it. Okay, so that's the, the, the easiest way to tell which part, the wrong part or the back part of this project or the front or the right side of this project. So right there. So we are done. It's very easy and you uh, very user friendly. Uh, this solid uh, granny square stitch in the part two of this. Um, I'm going to show to you how to assemble this and make it a tote bag with this wooden handle. And of course, this one you can make this a lot of project. You can make square bags. You can make boho bags. You can make um, the one that is only one square but bigger and make it a bag. So in the next. Um, following video tutorial i'm going to show you a lot of of this granny square stitch so if you don't subscribe yet please consider subscribing and be notified uh, for my next video so that you can follow and everything that i'm going to upload uh soonest in uh, shout out to all non-Tagalog friends out there, wherever that this channel of mine can reach out. Uh, thank you for your comments. Um, it's really uh, gave me such inspiration and I'm really happy to read those. Um, thank you, thank you so much and keep following me and supporting me and love me and thank you so much. And as much as possible, I'm really trying to uh, make this video um, in English translation. Uh, though English is not my first language, but I just want to to really let you guys understand um, uh, easily and could you know appreciate whatever I I'm going to to show to you. So thank you so much and please, please, please subscribe and if you can join my membership, uh, join the family of Life and Crops and uh, get the chance to receive um, precious gifts from me and thank you. See you in the next tutorial. Bye. <laughs>